Hey everyone, and welcome to the all new Let's Play on the channel. I'm going to be playing Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, the third game in the Ratchet and Clank series, and it's going to be great. Of course, you may or may not have seen me play through the first two games. Uh, they're up on the channel in their entirety in playlists. You can see every moment. And it's back, and it's going to be better than ever. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Note, this is an 100% completed file. Don't have that much, that many bolts, only 10 million apparently. But there was a, oh yeah, I had to grind to 10 million because there is a trophy for it. So, save slot 2. And we're going to have a party, I guess. It felt really wrong when I took Dark Souls out of the <laughs> PS3. I'm going to shut up now. Your mutant swamp fly. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th 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 that's cheating! On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the Blargian Snagglebeast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again! Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose as gracefully as you win? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Clank! Stay tuned for more Secret Agent Clank. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Velden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. But Veldin is in the Solana galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal. Coming? We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. So now we're finally going to get into some gameplay. Uh, as you can see, they were still chilling on Endako, which is where Clank was in the second game when we went to find him. And that was in that other galaxy where Megacorp was. So we're going to be back to Gadgetron now. We're back to Velden, which, as you might have noticed, was Ratchet's home planet. And uh, you also might have noticed that Clank is now a TV star with his own show, Secret Agent Clank. So... We're finally going to bust into gameplay a little. I don't have any weapons yet. Oh. Got to change my options, because they always do this on a new file. Um, I have to... in Not... Okay, wait. I do want that. Normal and normal, I'd say. Right, they also switched... Okay, that's normal. That's... That's the way I want it. It's just a bit fast. I'm trying to use... Oh, I'm used to using circle. Wow, I feel like I'm moving at like light speed. I know you can also strafe, which I thought... Yeah, you could totally do last time. That is really fast. 
you can reverse the camera controls in the options menu. This game feels like it's just playing weird. Oh, nope. Nope. There we go. Alright, I think this will be good. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Hey, look! It's a new sergeant! Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many of them! We're all gonna die! <laughs> so much faith in me. Alright, so blaster. our first gun is whatever they called this. It's basically the blitz gun, but it's not all curvy with the electricity stuff it shoots. Uh, I'm referencing previous games, of course. Note that uh, Ratchet & Clank is the kind of game that gives you discounts on weapons and things and like brings back weapons from the old games based on your um, save file previously. Am I glad to see you, Sarge? We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess. That somebody is me. We got a volunteer. Here, Sarge, take this. We'll cover you from back there. <laughs> Alright, so the now we get the nitro launcher. Vehicle. I'm trying to shoot with R1. That's like the day I wait for. Alright, so that took that out. Uh, you'll notice that we are in the process of upgrading our health, and we start with 10. So as you can probably tell as well, um, currency as well as uh, health stuff is inflated here. I do want to be on the thruster pack. I'm not used to using triangle yet, because, I mean, these are the PS2 days. Oh, you also only have to single tap triangle in order to... Um, swap back weapons. I know, I'm telling you guys as if you're the ones playing. But, yeah, I don't know. Gotta update you on stuff. Uh, now the one thing that they never carry through with the new games is the box breaker. So I can't just do this and break all the boxes, unfortunately. You gotta do everything by hand. And I also don't apparently have as much range for grabbing bolts as I had initially hoped and thought. Uh, keep in mind that I have 100% completed this game, so it'll be somewhat of a walkthrough, somewhat of a let's play. Um, yeah, this seemed, you guys were all pretty excited about this on the, Ratchet, the, the Isaac video that I mentioned it. So uh, we're going to roll with it, especially because I should be able to do this quickly enough. Terraria will be next, and of course the idea will be that Terraria comes out when the update comes out. So... That's what's happening with the channel. Uh, I'm glad that we finally returned to Ratchet & Clank. I do one day want to play the next three games, but I also want Deadlocked, like, real bad. I liked Deadlocked, honestly. Maybe Deadlocked will be out on PSN by the time I get around, like, I get done with Terraria and this. Uh, also... If you saw my nanotech upgraded by one, two, so now we have eleven. So it's not upgrading like super quickly or anything, but it's upgrading nonetheless. Uh, I don't think we get the rhino in this game until the second playthrough. No, we totally do. We yeah, we totally do. I think. I don't know. I don't remember. But don't worry. I've still got the ability to 100% complete this game almost certainly. It'll be a great time. I'm probably going to record this like really, really far ahead so that I have time for streams and uh, extra videos and things. And like today's the weekend, my plans have just been cancelled, so I'm going to go ahead and get like five, six episodes done today. To the point where this episode might even go out on Saturday, as in today, where uh, I didn't have a second video. So that could be nice, and I'll still be way ahead. Uh, I really just, like, I don't need tips for this game, so I can go ahead and play to my heart's desire and not worry about stuff. Um, I'll be able to mess with audio balance and all that good stuff myself. Get back in there, Trooper. We've got a planet to save. Yes, sir. Okay, so if you haven't been able to tell, we've formed uh, an alliance automatically with our friends the Galactic Troopers. And uh, whenever we get in this ship, we're going to notice that it's time for a Galactic Troopers set of missions. 
And now we're introduced to the mechanic of diving. So we just have to dodge these missiles. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to have all of your galactic troopers survive. So um, don't even try because you're just not going to succeed. Okay. And note that this time is going to be a little bit different in that... Oh, man. I'm trying to strafe with R1 or, or L1 or something, which is not correct. But anyway, uh, this is going to be the odd timeout where we usually would have three or four or five missions from the Galactic Troopers when we uh, do a skydive thing for them. But this time we're only going to have this, I believe. So we've just upgraded our weapon. Uh, I'm going to turn off tips because I know these things and I will explain them to you just fine. Okay, fine. Note that you have to let out the first shot first. Uh, I'm going to turn off those help messages. Uh, audio visual, help desk text, and help desk voice. Because <laughs> I really, really, really don't need them. And I can explain everything to you guys just fine. Myself, without the game's help. Alright. I really like having a series like this because it's a game that people seem to enjoy regardless and uh, it's also simple enough and uh, I'm familiar with it enough that, like I said, I can get ahead so that I can do extra stuff for the channel. So it's good times. Uh, I don't think there's anything else around here. And I don't think there are any gold bolts here. Okay, I don't have the charge boots or anything. That's fine. We'll just get through Velden, and that'll probably end the episode. Note that these episodes I've uh, consistently done by planets. So I do a full planet in one episode, and then after that, well, basically I just do a full planet per episode, and then I go back for any gold bolts, platinum bolts that I forgot previously at the end, and then I do the final boss. How are things on the front lines, soldier? Is, is that secret agent Clank? Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor, and I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Take a here, guess. Take a look. On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of nature's mysteries. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It could be one of nature's mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. Tune in and find out the answers. We need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he <laughs> seems like kind of a, you know... Wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. So I'm going to do Florana as well because this was super short. But note that I'm not necessarily opposed to super short episodes of this. Just sometimes I will and sometimes I won't do two um, places per video. You know, who knows? I do what I want, basically. So, we're on Florana now, and we're trying to find uh, this mysterious beast man. And I think that we all know who he is, even if we haven't played the game before. So, there's that. Uh, I'm going to be able to find at least one of the things I'm looking for. Alright. Oh, best new feature, max out ammo. Uh, I guess we'll buy the plasma whip. Plasma Whip's okay, but I probably would prefer the N60 Storm. No, stop that. I'm trying to switch weapons. There we go. 
Basically, I'm just going to use this for a little while. But don't get me wrong, Plasma Whip can be pretty strong. I just usually don't end up upgrading it until like the very end. Uh, so, you know, they're just some weapons that I prefer over others. So there are obviously two paths we can take at this very moment in time. Of course, I'm going to go this way. Because it looks like it ends, and uh, we're going to see a new mechanic here. And that new mechanic is I'm wasting these bolts. Uh, that is a bolt multiplier, so now you see there's the X2 by us. We get times two for all the bolts we collect now, and look, conveniently, there are all these boxes here. It'd be great if we had the box breaker with this. But, uh, yes, we're now introduced to the bolt multiplier. You guys would remember it from the uh, challenge mode of the previous game. I don't know if there was a bolt multiplier in challenge mode of Ratchet and Clank, the original. I don't think so, honestly. So, this is a thing. You can see it's running out now. I'm just trying to maximize my profits from it. Okay, we ran out. That's fine. Uh, we still got a fair amount from it. Why aren't you dead, dude? Good. See, there's that, yeah, spiral swirl thing in there. Now you're dead. Uh, note that if we get one of those when we already have a multiplier in challenge mode, for example, because you're never going to get two at once from crates, uh, it will just double your multiplier. So if you have the max, which is times 20, you're going to have a times 40 multiplier suddenly. So that's pretty nice. Uh, this game is relatively easy to collect, collect bolts in compared to the previous two. Uh, the next game is where that reaches its pinnacle, though. And then they uh, scale back the bolt inflation, if you will. Like, in the next game in the series, I have 500 million bolts on one file and 500 million bolts on the other file. So, of course, that means I've collected a total of a billion bolts. And then, you know, I've spent millions and millions of them. So that is the pinnacle of the inflation of the game's uh, currency, but uh, this game can get pretty far too. And note that that's just like with probably around the same amount of playtime. So yeah, I could probably get 1 billion volts if I played forever on this game, but you can do it in relatively short amounts of time on the next game. Because um, when you trade in Pretty much they're like the uh, the crystals from the desert and uh, moon place in the previous game. When you trade in those, they're from Leviathans in the next game. Uh, they're affected by your bolt multiplier. So basically, you just like speed run through the game once, uh, saving all of your Leviathan souls. And then you go... Oh god. Well, yeah, <laughs> that was something I had to do. Uh, yeah, you speed run through the game without trading any of them in, except the ones you have to. And then you save them all until, like, the very end, and you get up to a plus or a times 20 multiplier. And then you're just set. So you've gained, like, millions and millions of bolts all at once. Uh, now, I'm going to go back up because somewhere around here there is a trophy. I don't remember all of the trophy locations. But, uh, for trophies, is it here? Can I do this? No, but I thought it was. Alright, stay up for me. Is it down there? Whatever. Trophies, uh, pretty much mostly useless, but they allow you to go to, uh, the Insomniac Museum, which I haven't shown off before, so it's not like I'm aiming to show it off now. I am just trying to be relatively completionist about things, but I guess I don't... Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, how do I get there? How do I get there? Whatever, I'll worry about it later. You see the swirl in the water, so we know we're going to fight another one of those beasties. And we can fire so quickly that it can't even do anything, which is quite nice, I must say. Uh, this gun is not actually that bad. I definitely prefer it to the Blitz Gun or the Blitz Cannon in the previous game. Now you see that crate. Uh, you might notice that we can't break it with our guns. We can only break it with our wrench, and we now have Inferno Power. 
That gives us invincibility as well as a very strong double wrench business. So yeah, one hit kills on these dudes. Not too worried. Okay, onward and kill everyone, word. Just in time to run out there. Now, I'm gonna do something after, okay. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna do, this is how you get to it, by the way. I'm gonna input a cheat, and that'll turn my wrench into something else, which will be awesome. I just have to look it up in a bit. Probably once I finish this planet. Alright, so here we are. We get this trophy. I don't remember all the trophies, so... Sorry if I don't get them. Regardless, I won't go to the Insomniac Museum because uh, I feel like I should leave something to show off. I'm going to be getting all of the Platinum Bolts. I'm going to be doing all of the um, areas and stuff. But I may, may or may not get all the trophies because I may or may not remember them. I guess I could go back for them with the Platinum Bolts. Yeah, that wouldn't be a big thing. Yeah, the game actually looks weird for me without having the uh, wrench replacement. So, <laughs> we're going to have to rectify that situation. Uh, oh, you guys seem to have extra health. But now you seem to be dead. And yeah, I don't really care because it uses extra ammo when you charge up the shock blaster. So I don't really care about uh, using it for all of the other stuff charges. Okay, it's not worth that much. I'm not going to shoot them all. So we're almost done here. All we have to do is something really annoying. Now, keep in mind that this part has uh, a skill point. I'll uh, shut Ratchet, up for a second. We have company. Where? Behind you. Where? Behind you. Very funny. You having a good time? <laughs> you trespass on sacred ground. <laughs> now you walk path of death. But, sir. Path of death. <laughs> so, uh, that was the man we were looking for. Yeah, I'll buy it. And I don't really care about my quick select yet. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I just skipped it already. Uh, anyway, there's an annoying skill point here for completing this place without taking any damage. And uh, you may think it's pretty easy, because generally games with things to do like that, you know, that's not that big a deal. No, this is pretty annoying. This was the last skill point I got last time through the game. And uh, it's not fun. Okay, where am I? There it is. Okay, just I had to remember where that was. So that's our second Platinum Bolt. Titanium Bolt, sorry. See, I knew they were different titled, but I couldn't think of what they were. Anyway, of course I want to get through here without taking any damage, just because I don't want to take damage at all in general. But I'm just going to let you know that it's probably kind of unlikely. Kill everybody. It'd be really funny if I got this skill point. I note that it looks like some squares are safe here. They're not actually. If you stand on them too long, it will um, pop up on those. Alright, so we made it through that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Of course I got the skill point this time. Uh, so that was really annoying last time through, but... Not be. <laughs> okay, we walked your path of death. Now, tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Who? Huh? Dr. Nefarious! They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Who? Huh? <laughs> this guy's even dumber than... Captain Quark? 
Yeah, <laughs> Captain Kloof! That's it, Cork. You've had this coming for a long time. Yep, there we go. So now we beat up Captain Quark. Uh, yeah, it's funny that I got that skill point right away. Why don't I just suck it up harder? Uh, so yeah, let's try not getting hit anymore, because it's silly of me to do so. Uh, yes, quick select pause is still a thing. Uh, we should be able to beat him relatively easily. Oh god. Why don't I practically get myself killed? Alright. That should do it. Nanotech up. So, Quark has completely lost his mind. Now what? Just keep the mask on. He thinks you are his new leader. Great. <laughs> Who knows how he got here? Incoming call. This is Captain Sasha of the Starship Phoenix. The President has asked me to assist you. Uh, hi. I see you have located Captain Quark. Yeah, we got him, but, uh, well, he thinks he's a monkey. Of course. <laughs> Bring him to the Phoenix and we'll see what we can do. Sasha out. Okay, so that's going to complete first episode we're going to fly off automatically to the starship phoenix which is going to be our hub world basically it's going to be the place we do stuff whenever there's nothing else to do or whenever we want to so uh, i'm actually gonna activate the wrench replacement in the start of the next episode just because and that's going to complete it here once the cutscenes are over i assume we're going to have cutscenes don't worry, we're loading in. Yeah, that usually means, yeah. Look at that, Clank. This ship is amazing. Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Whoa. Impressive, isn't she? The Phoenix is the pride of the galactic fleet. She's equipped with the latest technology. Holodeck training suites, auto vendors for armor and weapons, virtual firing range, starfighter upgrade system, even a Gadgetron VG-9000 game system. A VG-9000? Of course. With a Mavix Fireball Pro controller, VR headset, and a Zero-G dance pad attachment. Will you marry me? Well, you've obviously had an exhausting trip. Why don't you stop by your quarters? We prepared a custom living area for Quark, so he won't get in your way. Come meet me on the bridge when you're ready. Okay, so that's where we're going to end this episode. I'll be able to pause once saving is gone. And, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this. I'm going to be able to complete this in probably around the same amount of time as the previous two Ratchet and Clank games. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.